God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. All right, you guys. Well, basically, um, I'm up on here because I just got through doing my Bible study. And I wanted to clarify some things that I said because I think people don't understand what time it is. All right, so my title is The Violence of Black, I meant to say people, but I'll go ahead and correct it later, okay? Let me, can I correct it now? No, I can't. All right, so The Violence of Black People, what would Jesus really do? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk this thing out, okay? First of all, and I'm, I'm going here, Martin Luther King. Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King. He was more of a, you know, praying person, peace. The extreme Malcolm X. He was different. But he still wasn't violent. Out. This generation, all right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna break it down. Y'all out of order. Y'all out of order. You are not wiser. As a matter of fact, you're angry. Y'all young people are angry. And you need to slow your row. And you're wondering why all this is happening. Because y'all don't have respect for authority. Hold on. Not just po -po pose. I'm talking about your mom and your grandmother. Me. Whatever. You ain't got no respect for nobody. Not even yourselves. So the first thing is you totally out of order. And y'all thinking it's being strong. No, it's not. That's what's happening here. That's why that, that stuff is happening. Now, these people are doing what they're doing. That's true. And it, that's out of order as well. But let's go Bible. All right, so I want to talk to y'all about when Jesus was arrested. All right, I want to talk to you. All right, John 18. When he had finished praying, Jesus left with his disciples and crossed the Kidron Valley. On the other side, there was a garden, and he and his disciples went into it. Two. Now, Judas, who betrayed him, because that and that's another thing. Most of you are Judases. The world is a big is a big stage. Everybody playing their part, and most of y'all y'all playing Judas. Y'all taking them thirty pieces of silver, but you may not even enjoy it, Judas. Half of these people that starting this stuff ain't, ain't got nothing to do with them. Josh Soros or whoever else then paid them off. This is a big stage. The world ain't nothing but a big stage. I told y'all when see whatever because I don't like to give it life. When that thing started, I told y'all there was new world order and that it was going to start. It didn't work. Didn't I tell y'all? I said God going to put a monkey wrench. And guess what? It was a monkey wrench. So now they had to hurry up and do something quick because they really, they're trying to push martial law and new world order and they're not playing. And guess what? They will do it. But we're supposed to do something different. Come on, somebody. I love you. So let me continue what I'm saying. All right. So now Judas who betrayed him knew the place because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. So Judas came to the garden guiding a detachment of soldiers and some officials from the chief priests and the Pharisees. They were carrying torches, lanterns, and weapons. And weapons. They did this all before. Come on, somebody. They did this all before. He told us how it was going to get done. He said that, guess what? It's going to happen to you too. And it's happening. And y'all don't acting like y'all don't know how to handle it. And it's unfortunate. Don't get it twisted. Wrong is wrong. Right is right. But I'm just saying we're going about it the wrong way. All right, so let me continue. Verse 4, Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, went out and asked him, Who is it you want? Five, Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said. And Judas the traitor was standing there. When Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Again, he asked him, What is it that you want? They said, Jesus of Nazareth. So Jesus answered, I told you I am he. If you're looking for me, then let these men go. This happened so that the words he had spoken should be fulfilled. I have not lost one of you that God gave me. Come on, somebody. How do you, let me continue. Verse 10. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his right ear. The servant's name was Machus. Verse 11. Jesus commanded Peter, put your sword away. Should I not drink the cup of my father has given me? What am I saying? Should we not drink the cup that God has given us, whether we like it or not? Oh, let me continue. Verse 12. Then the detachment of the soldiers with his commander, with the Jewish officials, arrested Jesus. They bound him and brought him first to Annas. Now, what he said also after that, he said, those that live by the sword should die by the sword. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to walk this thing out. You're not going to like me too much. Y'all want to understand what happened? Our generation, I'll be 51 in a couple of weeks. My generation and the generation before me, we dropped the ball. This generation they don't know god so they do everything all ungodly and these people are capitalizing off of it oh come on somebody okay let's start with authority when you see a cop if he said get down get down what are you doing but y'all you what you doing what you doing if he said pull up pull up now hold on 
You're going to get hit. You do right. You're going to get hit if you do wrong. But I'd rather get hit for doing right than wrong. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm talking to you. So, mama, daddy, that's your fault. You forgot to raise your kid. You let the world raise your kid. You, as a matter of fact, you went to work and gave your kid everything. And, and hold on. Because not only that, mama, daddy, some of y'all knew y'all kids was selling drugs. But because you like that drug money, you didn't say nothing. But then when they wind up in jail a day, you want to put a little wings on them and say, my baby. That was your baby when you was letting them do what they did, how they did what they did. And you didn't say nothing. I'm just saying, I'm putting it all in perspective. Because y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. That's not how we supposed to do it. Hallelujah. Because we're going to get hit regardless. But I'd rather get hit and God on my side than being wrong because God says in his word, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. That means you ain't supposed to do nothing what you're doing. Come on, somebody. God, from Genesis to Revelation, God have always redeemed his people. You think God is not seeing what they do? You, me, none of us get away with anything. But let me get back to mama and daddy. Y'all don't want nobody telling y'all kids nothing. Knowing they murder us or shoot us. What else? Thieves disrespectful oh come on somebody hallelujah y'all wondering why because god have said i've come not to bring peace but i've come with a sword in my mouth what am i saying have y'all ever figured out why god is allowing this to happen i'm gonna tell y'all because america have sinned before god but y'all don't want that to touch y'all they're killing us we're killing us what you talking about it ain't about no color. Because if God is God, then God is a God of love. God is not a God of color. Ain't every white person bad. Ain't every black person bad. Y'all miss me with all that because I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of y'all. You know what y'all doing? Y'all taking that money, Judas. Yeah, I'm saying what I'm saying. Even in this little town, y'all killing and setting up people. What you setting up people for? And the only way you can set up people is because somebody paid you or they threatened you. But y'all got the right ones because you see a coward gonna do that kind of stuff. A real one ain't gonna do that kind of. Yeah, I say what I say. You're cowards. Oh, I'm on one. Get mad. Huh? Nobody playing with y'all up in here. You can't beat evil with evil people. You can't do it. You can't do it. I lived it, and everybody around me died. Thank God he didn't take my life. Everybody, they're dead. I didn't understand why he saved me, but I understand now. And I'm going to tell the truth up in here tonight. I paid for everything I ever did. You think you won't? Those who live by the sword should die by the sword. What we need to be doing is praying. Fasting, praying, obey. Fast, pray, obey. But y'all are in your feelings right now. Emotions don't move God. I'm sorry. Tears don't move God. I'm sorry. Obedience moves God. Because God is a God of order. Period. And this generation, y'all been out of order. Nobody can't tell y'all nothing. And the reason why y'all shooting, I'm going all in tonight. Because you're too scared to get a butt whipping. Yeah, I said it how I said it. You're too scared. Y'all will jump somebody. Because that's what I'm hearing. This one got jumped. That one got jumped. In, in my time, we just fought one-on-one, -on -one, baby. I'm sick of y'all. Because y'all some cowards. And hold on. I'm not talking about just the young generation. I'm talking about you older ones that keep that teaching them that they're doing right when they're doing wrong. You just as wrong, and God going to get you too. Yeah, everybody in it. Hallelujah. Real is real, and truth is true. We're supposed to pray. We forgot to teach them God, about God. Y'all taught them about money, and honey, and funny, and not everybody paying for it. Because God says, America have fallen. God let these people do what they're doing. And y'all keep saying, well, how is it going to end? I'm going to tell you how it's going to end. We're going to be persecuted. And the Bible says in Revelation, until our other brother is killed like we were killed, we're going to be martyrs. Y'all might as well get it ready. New world order is here. Martial law is right around the corner. These people are doing what they do. These are trained killers. These ain't regular cops. I told y'all in the other video, cops are scared to shoot their gun. They get the, they get, I know what I'm talking about. We train FBI agents. Don't tell me I know. They are trained mentally because that's the only way you can kill somebody like that. Demonic too. Gone. They're gone. If you look at every officer that did that, I promise you that wasn't a real officer because most cops are afraid to use their guns. You can ask the average cop. They get the shakes. They get scared. They're just as scared as you are. But CIA, FBI, that's some trained killers, honey. They're, that's how they're looking in the camera and doing what they're doing. 
But y'all don't know. They put a uniform on them and make them. The whole. I'm telling you what does say the Lord. This whole world is a, is a stage. Y'all know they got an app. I'm about to show y'all. Every movie you ever looked at. Everything has something to do with religion. They have an app where you can um, learn different languages. Guess what the app is called? Babel. Remember the Tower of Babel? All these movies. Divergent. The Hunger Games. Everything. If you look at Netflix, everything has to do with witchcraft. Y'all don't see what's happening? Let me, let me, let me make it short because I'm going to get up off of here. When Jesus was on pinnacle and Satan took him up and he says, If you fall down and worship me, I'll give you all this. That's where we at. He separated us from God and now most of y'all are taking all the glory. Oh, I don't care. As a matter of fact, I have a picture of this woman that said, I'm going to hell and I'm proud of it. You proud of it right now, baby, because you don't understand that torment going to be torment and torment eternally. They're thinking it's just for a day. No, baby, that's internally. Y'all sitting up there playing this game. What am I saying in short? Young people, hold your peace. That's why y'all dying like y'all dying because there's a curse upon this, this generation. I'm saying what I'm saying. You can get mad if you want to. There's a curse. Y'all killing? You kill should be killed, said the Lord. Those that kill would be killed. The sword will turn into your own. Hold on. And this is the bad thing that y'all don't know. When you do wrong, sin doesn't just fall on you. It falls on your family. But, but nobody never taught y'all that because y'all don't know Bible. Read your Bible. From generation. It's called generational curses. Now y'all understand. Well, how do you, how do we stop this apostle? Fast. Pray, obey. I'm writing a book right now. I've been doing so much research on this until it saddens me. See that spirit of rage? That's real. When a person goes into a spirit of rage, it is a demonic entity. That thing is red and it's ugly. I've seen it twice in my life. When they're in that connotation, you cannot talk to them because all the spirit is saying is kill, devour, kill. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. That spirit must be cast out. You can't counsel a demon. Y'all trying to counsel demons. Come on, somebody. You can't counsel no demon. Jesus cast them out. Y'all trying to counsel them. Then y'all trying to make it a color thing. A demon is a demon has no color. It could be black, white, Indian, orange, red, whatever you want to call it. I love everybody, but I do not condone all this violence, and I'm black. I love my white brothers, my white sisters, and everybody that's different colors. Because God is a God of love before he's a God of color. So all this y'all doing, y'all out of order. And that is not of God. And I don't condone it. I, I don't care what y'all want to call me. God never told you to kill. As a matter of fact, he says, thy should not kill. Thy should not steal. Thy should not murder. Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah. And you can murder somebody with your tongue too, by the way. Y'all have so much anger. That's what, that's what, and hold on. That's what they want. Oh, come on, somebody. Let, let me go ahead and close with this. I see the spirit of rage, and there's so many portals that's opening. So many portals. And they feeding it to y'all. They coming in my inbox. L look what happened to this black brother. Look what happened to this black sister. And people are getting excited. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Whatever you feed on, you become. They're feeding that spirit of rage because they want a race war. They're going to get it eventually. Don't, But I have nothing to do with it because I still believe the power of God. I still believe God can heal and deliver because God is still God all by himself. He said, I'm Jehovah Nisi, I'm Jehovah Rapha, I'm Jehovah Shalom, the Lord of peace. Church, where you at? I've been silent. I've been watching all y'all just get on here. I mean, just talking crazy. That is not of God. That is not of God. That is not the God we serve. Y'all are lying. Oh, feeding it, feeding it, feeding it. Our position is to pray. No, it's not fair, but our position is to pray. Because God said, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm God all by myself. I don't need you. I see what's happening. I'm a, I'm a God that neither sleeps or slumbers, said the Lord. I don't need your help. The last assistant got fired, which was the devil. Yeah, he, got, he got booted out. He don't need no assistant. Y'all little mini assistants around here. He did not even, he did not make you no assistant. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I'm finna get up off of here. I say what God told me to say. <sighs> you know, I had a young lady, and I love her. She asked me, well, how am I supposed to feel? 
I'm hurt too. I don't I don't care if it's black white. I don't like to see anybody unjustly killed or violence. It hurts. I get that. I understand that. and my condolences to everybody, everybody. But that's not the way we're supposed to respond. You know what where the church fell? We're so busy getting money and looking all beautiful and like the Pharisees and the Sadducees, mind you. We ain't got no power. That's why these young people and even our generation don't know God because they haven't felt the presence of God. God is looking for some people, some deliverers. Where are the Joshua's? Where are the Moses? Where are the people that's really here from God? Because guess what? Y'all got y'all going by what you see. And the Bible says that the just should live by faith and not by sight. Y'all going by what y'all see. And this season, this dimension, you got to go by what you hear. But you can't hear God if you don't know the voice of God, if you ain't spent time with God. And you're just scrolling, just scrolling. Just just feeding the stuff, feeding it, feeding it, feeding it, feeding your spirit, all that foolishness. I haven't been looking at it. I'm going to tell you right now, I haven't been looking at it. I've been praying. I'm hearing about it, but I've just been praying. I'm hurting, but I've just been praying. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Don't feed into it, said the Lord. They feeding, they feeding it, they feeding it, they feeding it. They feeding it. That's it. My God, my God. That's it. That's all I got to say. And church leaders, I'm so ashamed of some of y'all. Y'all just got up on here. Let me tell you, I got to say this and I got to get off of here. God showed me something. I was looking at some of y'all. God said, look at them. I can't even hear them. Because what's coming out is anger, hatred, violence, no prayers, no love. <laughs> it's not God holy. You can't be evil. With evil, said the Lord, it cannot be done. And that's it. That's all I got to say. God bless everybody. Yes, Nikisha, the tongue can kill. And that's what's happening. In this transition, we're supposed to stay in position. God keep us. God keep us. Y'all, I didn't like we ain't never been here. Our ancestors, a lot of, I saw this woman and I wanted to do, I wanted to show her a picture, but I guess that's not what God wanted me to do. This is what she said. I'm not going to say that bad word. She said, we're not our ancestors. We will blank you up. Sister, we ain't nowhere near our ancestors because they were stronger. You couldn't take what they took and still had dignity and integrity and honor. Most of y'all just foolish, just foolish, just foolish. And God just looking at you like, really? <laughs> and you? That's not how God will. <sighs> All right, y'all, God, my God, my God. That's not how it's supposed to be done. I just can't get down with it. I'm sorry. I'm hurt just like y'all, but I will not, I cannot condone violence just because of a color. I can't do it. And you shouldn't be involved in it. Our position is to pray for everybody and I do say everybody because let me leave you with this I was wondering why he was lingering me on because I was trying to get off when new world order and it's around the corner and martial law honey they ain't gonna care what color you are because if you ain't got their bloodline and you ain't got their money the rock child's money and all of them I see holocaust they're gonna kill a lot of us y'all ain't ready for that huh y'all sitting up there worrying about this stuff you better worry about where your soul will end up in eternal. That's the question. All this other stuff is about to go anyway. Because Jesus Christ is coming. He's coming, y'all. Y'all better see what time it is. Y'all sitting up there playing crazy. He's coming. Where will your soul end up, God says? That's what you should be worried about. And there are some that I don't care right now. You know, you don't care right now. You, you bad. You big and bad. Okay, okay. Until that fire hits you. Yeah, I said it like I said it. All right, so God bless you. God keep you. My God, my God. I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep praying. That's all I could do. Pray, 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 pray. I'm, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. All right. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll lot of soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless. You're right, Eric Johnson. It's just a distraction. And... Most of the time, you don't know it's a distraction until it finished distracting you. God bless y'all tonight.